Mastering Possessives Understanding Possessive Nouns and Pronouns in English Hello Learners! Welcome back to our English Language Series. Today, we're diving into the wonderful world of possessive nouns and pronouns. Our focus is on how to form them correctly. Possessives are important as they show ownership or relationships between people, places, or things. Let's get started. First off, let's explore possessive nouns. These are nouns that show ownership or association. You form them by adding an apostrophe and an S to the end of a singular noun, like so, cats, woman's, John's. For plural nouns ending in S, just add an apostrophe, cats, women's, John's. Examples. The cat's toy is broken. The toy belongs to the cat. The woman's dress is beautiful. The dress belongs to the woman. This is John's book. The book belongs to John. Moving on to possessive pronouns. These pronouns are used to show ownership without naming the owner. Unlike possessive nouns, they don't need an apostrophe. Here they are, my, your, his, her, its, are, their. Examples. This book is mine. Is this hat yours? The decision is theirs. English wouldn't be English without its quirks and exceptions. When dealing with singular nouns that end with an S, some style guides suggest adding just an apostrophe, while others prefer adding an apostrophe and S. Both Charles's book and Charles's book are considered correct. For possessive pronouns, note the difference between its and its. Its is a contraction of it is or it has, not a possessive pronoun. Its indicates possession. Examples. The dog wagged its tail. It's going to rain today. And that wraps up our session on forming possessive nouns and pronouns in English. It might seem tricky at first, but with practice, you'll become a master of possessives. Remember, the key to learning is practice. Try using these in your daily conversations and writing. See you in the next video where we'll continue our exploration of English grammar. Keep learning!